you say you have a photographic mind. Let's develop it with the greatest common factor. The what? The GCF, as it's known on the streets. Dog. Let's start with this numeric example. Oh, boy. What do we want to do? We want to break it down. Oh. All right, stop. It's factor time. What am I talking about? That's 2 and 20. That's 2 and 10. That's 2 and 5. Then you bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. All right, let's break down 20. <laughs> well, it's all right there. Bam! 20 is 2 and 10. It's 2 and 5. It's... 2 times 2 times 5. Well, let's do it in formality. 20. That's 2 and 10. That's 2 and 5. That's done. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. 2 times 2 times 5. And then we break down 4. Sure. That's 2 and 2. Ooh, bring it, bring it, brought it. 2 times 2. All right. So now what do we do? Well, that probably should have been in a different color. When we're doing the greatest common factor, we're looking for all the factors that are in common. This one has two twos, this one has two twos, this one has two twos. So what does a ballerina wear? Two twos. <laughs> Woo. The greatest common factor between 40, 20, and 4 is 2 times 2, or 4. Sure. It's fantastic. Four. Now let's go, oh, no, right here. Yes. Let's break it down. Oh, A, 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 B, B. That's how we see this guy. That's A to the fourth B squared. And then we can break that down. A, 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 B, 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 B. So wait, that's three A's and five B's. So then we see that we do have a greatest common factor. We're looking for the greatest number of A's. Which one has more A's? This one has greatest common factor is the stuff they have in common. That one has three A's, this one has four A's, so three A's is what they have in common. So A to the third, and this one, this one has two B's, and two B's, B squared. Oh, B squared. That's your greatest common factor. Some of you guys are like, um, is there an easier way? Sure. It's the least number. Which one has less? This one has less. That's it. All right. This one has less than that one. So this is it. So it's A to the third B squared and that's that. Let's use that on this next example. We want to see the numbers. Boom. This is um, 2 and 9. That's 3 and 3. Oh, wee. That's 2 and 24. That's 2 and 12. That's 2 and 6. That's 2 and 3. This one is, this one is, this one is 2 and 12 and 2 and 6 and 2 and 3. So then we see, whoa, whoa, wait, bring it, bring it, bring it, brought it. 2 times 3 times 3. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, brought it. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now we see what's in common for our greatest common factor. What? One, two, boom. They all have at least one, two. And one, three. They all have at least one, three. And um, that's all they have in common is two and three. So that's six. Now, we're going to use that shortcut from that last example. And we look for the least number of A's. The least number of A's is one right there. And then we look for the least number of B's. The least number of B's is B. Just one B. So then we see we have a greatest common factor. Box and flower. Flower. Box was already there. Flower. Sure. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.